Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day Numero Dos. Good morning. Um, I am extremely tired today. I don't know why. I slept terrible last night, okay? Horrible. Yeah, I slept terrible last night, yo. And, um, I am just, I am just in shambles low-key because I, um, you know, I have, you know, to get dressed and I have to pack up my work stuff, which is not going to take me long. It's just, that was just in the way. I did not expect to be running late this morning. I just, I just didn't. Um, I'm going to take my hair down because I'm not sure. I'm sure she, Selena has a um, blow dryer at her suite. I'm just not sure. But I want to take my hair down because I, I just had a vision. You know what I'm saying? I just had a vision. And yeah, I didn't sleep well last night. And then I ended up like, y'all, my dreams... There are moments where I have, I don't remember my dreams. There are moments where I vividly remember my dream. There's dreams where I don't even know why that was a dream. And I've had dreams where I had to wake up and make phone calls just to make sure because it felt so real. And last night was one of those nights I had to call. Well, today was one of those mornings I was waking up from my dream and I had to call to make sure what I was dreaming was not accurate, was not correct. And it, thank you, Lord Jesus, it was a dream because I was like, Jesus, no. I don't know if I said it yet, but I hope your um, your holidays have been well so far. But I know this is a time where families get together. So I pray so far that um, the holidays have been good to you. And I do want to make this note as well. Like, I know the holidays can seem like money, 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 which a lot of it is. But I know this is also a time where some people are reminded of some things. Um, like, take it. For my family and I, you know, we're reminded this holiday season that, you know, we're miss we got a missing link now, you know. Well we've always had missing links, but we definitely have a missing link um when it comes to our family. And I know and I wanted to recognize that try not to focus too much on, you know, the obvious of who's not here. Try to focus on the ones who are here and, and you know, we can thank God for that. I get it. But I, I definitely want us to not miss miss what God wants us to not necessarily do, but just to enjoy this season. Outside of the gifts, outside of the holiday cooking and all of this stuff, at the end of the day, if you can get together with your family or your loved ones, period, whoever that may be, I think that's the goal. And I think that that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? And I was even talking to... um I was talking to my mom the other day and I was like, if or when I have children, I was like, I would really love to just, you know, we'll, ha we'll have our Christmas seasons, you know, we'll get the kids and stuff or whatever. I don't believe in going crazy, crazy. I mean, yes, I grew up pretty much getting, you know, what my sister and I asked for, for the most part, you know, my parents were great, but I definitely, definitely would, you know, love to remind my children, you know, hey, this season is... It's not just about you waking up to some stuff because some people did not. So, you know, at some point I would love to turn our focus off of, you know, us getting ourselves stuff. And we go bless other people and do it year round. Like there are homeless people year round. There are people who are hungry year round. There are people who are in need year round. Not just Christmas, not just Thanksgiving, you know. But nonetheless, I'm feeling amazing this morning. Um, I do have slight a, I, mm, I do have a slight headache. Clearly, I can't talk today. I do have slight a slight headache, and I just did it again. I do have a slight headache. I got some work to do. That's why I'm mad that I woke up at the time I did because I gotta pack my bag. I wanted to get Avery situated and now I just feel like, and yes, like my friend is doing it. So if I'm a couple minutes late, like I'm sure she's not going to flip, but still treat your, if your friend has a business, you treat that business as if you were one of her regular clients, one of their regular clients. Like, you know, y'all might think I'm crazy, but I had a vision and I want to wear some red lipstick today. And this red is so pretty. This is Maybelline New York, the ultimate lipstick, the little tube. And this is in shade 299 More Scarlet. I really would like to ask and know what drugs my neighbors take because when I say they are always loud and obnoxious and it does not matter at the time of day. Like it could be midday, it could be early in the morning, it could be, I mean, when I say anytime, they're just live and in, in, in action. And it's, listen. Live your life. I think that it'll do something different and it ain't doing it. 
I mean, that's what that's the only reason why I said what I said. Yes, I think the haircut would be beautiful on you. I was just saying, do that's just me. Like, like I said, I'm I'm good for being impulsive, which is why I cut my hair off the way I did. You see how I was looking? You know. Why you ain't there? I did it. And it's and again, it's just hair. We have we have beautiful hair. Our hair will grow back. Our hair will, you know. And health overlink any day. That's why I'm gonna get Selena to trim my hair. And it's giving. I might need to get a good, a good good trim. And that's okay. I'm not. I'm not worried about trying to have hair down my back and it's thin as paper. Right. Good morning, thank you for coming to Starbucks. This is Kelsey. How are you today? Doing well. How are you? Doing well. Can't complain. Is there any food that we can get started for you or just drinks today? Uh, could I do one of your sausage and cheddars with no cheese? Okay. And then can I do a a chai latte hot? And what side do you like that? Grande or venti? Uh, just grande is fine. Alrighty. Anything else? And that'll do it. Awesome. Salsa and cheese, no cheese, and a grande hot chai. Give me nine fifty one. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, that pasta I made yesterday. I have to make. I'm gonna have to make it again because I don't know. Cause you know, like this, I followed a recipe. So it was like teaspoon or tablespoon or half a tablespoon. Like it was all those TSP, TBSP, all that. I don't know if I misread one and added too much seasoning somewhere or that's just how the recipe was. Because it was, I mean, when I say it was good, but it's salmon bites in like, you know, regular Alfredo sauce pasta with rigatoni noodles, so good. Very good, very, very, very good. I just have to, I just have to remake it because it's just a oh, little it's salty. Yeah, it's just a little salty. Good morning. Okay. She hung up on me. You doing okay today? Good. And I was surprised to see nobody in the line right now. Yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you so much. You too. Can I just say this? Can I just vent real quick? I am so grateful. So, so grateful. I have an amazing relationship with my sister because, I mean, growing up, I mean, we were two young girls in close age, so you can only imagine how we may have butted heads for whatever reasons, right? But outside of that, like, speaking now, I am so, so happy and so grateful that I have a great relationship with my sister. I'm so grateful for it because, you know, I have friends that's not, you know, really close with their families and stuff like that. So it's a, it's just a blessing. But I just think it's funny, like we, we both make an effort to talk to each other every day, even if it's just, girl, what you think I should do with my hair? You know, those conversations, I do not take those for granted, you know? It might be the simplest conversations and it might not even be the most serious of topic of conversations, but it's conversation. And that's, that means a lot to me. So, I don't know why I just felt the need to say that, but yeah, like, I'm just so happy I'm able to converse with my sister. I'm so happy I'm able to uh, spend time with her. I'm happy I'm able to do that. You know, it's just, it's just a blessing. And if you guys don't know, I spent Thanksgiving with her. That's why this year, this Thanksgiving, this past year was so different. Usually, we, 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 we all get together at my dad's. We all get together at his house or maybe my grandmother's house. I know a couple years ago, it was my uncle's house and we all came down. It was just different this year because one, we, you know, my family, they just didn't know what they wanted to do, I guess. Like everybody kind of had their own thing going on this year, which is fine, you know. Some people were sick. So they needed to stay home and so my sister and I we were just like you know what we're just gonna cook for ourselves and we're gonna chill out with the boys and we're gonna watch the Parkers or a movie and yeah so my sister cooked a whole you know menu she had cornbread and greens and macaroni and cheese and yams and mashed potatoes and chicken like she <clears throat> yeah she 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 laid it out right we usually do turkey sometimes too, but my uncle was, was the one who kind of did the turkey, so no one really made turkey this year. And then I made a chicken and stuff in casserole, which was so good. Oh my gosh, it was so, so yummy. Very fattening, but for the holiday, we ate it. And um, I stopped by, I took it, yeah, I took it to my sister's, then I stopped by my dad's and my grandmother, and my dad got some scoops. So by the time I got home, there was literally almost nothing for me to eat. It was so funny. Like I had one serving of it, 
Um, of course, you know, when I brought it to my sisters, but I didn't want to, you know, eat too much because her boyfriend was there. So he had some and, you know, he took some to work, I think. So I said all that to say, by the time I got home, honey, there was nothing for Jalen to eat. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did have, um, I did good on the on the on the casserole. It was honestly the best, the best one I made. I think sometimes we can overdo, not overdo, but I think we can kind of get stressed out over the holidays sometimes because you know we're trying to figure out like who's cooking and all of this stuff. And it's like sometimes it's okay to switch it up. Like some families have traditions, which I think is beautiful, you know. But we don't have any like crazy, you know go-to traditions outside of just getting together at some point you know so for us it's like if you know we, if we don't if we don't get together we'll figure out something so it's no big deal um but I was expressing to my mom I was like man it would be so dope if we could um you know start like a new family tradition that way the new generation can have like a newer tradition to to, to start and continue on just just simply because we don't have a big tradition of doing anything outside of just getting together like that's I mean that's like the no-brainer you know that I think that's what most people do anyway um, but I saw that to say I was telling her like we should you know every year we should plan a getaway trip like to a cabin or you know just something different we put our money together and we and we dip we go out of town and we go maybe like if we do it for thanksgiving thanksgiving lands on what like the 25th 26th so like i'm i'm like well we could put our money together and we could leave you know a couple days before and that way you know when thanksgiving gets here we can just focus on cooking together and stuff like that like wouldn't that be dope oh my god okay guys i have made it to the salon Selena's gonna be right back. My girl has been up in here changing stuff, honey. It looks so cute in here, look. She got her a TV. Well, she already had a TV, but she got a bigger one. I love this wall, though. <sighs> but I am ready for this appointment. Get my hair did. Hopefully, hopefully I can just sit y'all right here while she does her magic. One thing is the lighting. I gotta figure out the lighting here. On the screen, if not on the, I mean, in the um, sorry, I'm sorry. description box. <laughs> Give me my ends, honey. up you guys i'm back home o m g all i'm gonna say is i'm just happy to be home before 
midnight. I know you can see it on my face. I am extra, 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 extra tired, okay? We didn't necessarily like perfect the ends of my hair. So what I'm gonna do is I got a hot, uh, pot of hot water on the stove right now. And I wanted to kind of perfect my ends. You guys know how I like to curl the ends of my braids. So we can do that real quick. But I'm looking like this because I have a headache. Obviously my head is on the tender side. Yeah, so this is how the ends look right now. And they're pretty curly, but I like to use, we use flexi rods, but I like to use these. It takes a little longer, <laughs> but the curls come out a lot tighter. So we're gonna do that while I wait for the pot to finish getting really hot. So with this, I literally take like maybe four braids. <clears throat> you guys we watched the new Kevin Hart series on Netflix and you guys that I'm not gonna lie in the beginning I was like okay is this based on his real life or like what in the world is going on but it's 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 a complete fictional thing no relation to his real life outside of he actually plays a character who's a comedian and he obviously just so happens to be a, a stand-up comedian in real life but it has no like real correlation but i will say it's definitely different to see kevin hart in a more serious role you know that's him not trying to be so having everybody on the floor laughing it was really good it's actually seven episodes i believe one season um but you know seven episodes the, the episodes are quite long i think on average maybe 40 minutes i didn't even look but y'all if you want like a good twisting turning type of show that's one for you i think you'll definitely enjoy it it definitely gave me some anxiety <laughs> but yeah like i mean it was it was really good yeah so doing them with these again it's not like an actual spiral all the way down you just have to kind of like roll them over the other but i mean it makes them really really tight that's what i was looking for Go ahead and cut her off because this is going to be a fairly quick process so obviously disclaimer if you're going to do this please be careful it's boiling hot water some people use like an actual warming little system thing some people use it in the microwave i just figured this would make it the hottest the quickest i've used the microwave before but i don't i didn't feel like continuously trying to hit the numbers so we got a we have an extremely hot pot of water, okay? So when I say please be careful, y'all ain't gonna get mad at me if y'all burn yourself, amen? Amen. I would even say let it cool off some, but I'm ready to get right into it. So I got my towel right here. So what we're gonna do is dip them in. Okay. I said have your towel close by so you can pat them dry. So now that we have that done, oops. So now that we have that done, the process is pretty much finished. Um, so just hold them there to preserve that heat. So yeah, so as said, um, I'm probably gonna leave these in all night, just put my big bonnet on. And yeah, I know today's vlog wasn't a whole, whole lot going on. I am beat, you guys. I wouldn't feel as bad if I didn't have a daggone headache. God, I'm gonna put this around my edges. We gotta get the, gotta keep the front looking good too. The edges are protected, hairs and those things. We're gonna leave it in there all night. This is not the most comfortable thing because y'all already know they're kind of tight. <laughs> Guys, I 
Because my camera is blinking, y'all already know. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Thank you guys so much for watching day two of Vlogmas. I shall see you guys in the next video, Lord willing. Be sure to check out the giveaway details. I'm gonna leave the giveaway details under each video. But I said it will be weekly. It will be a weekly thing. So instead of it being like an every video giveaway, it's just gonna be an every week giveaway. Um, with the exception of maybe some bonuses, just you know, just to see who really supports your girl out here. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. If you're not new, I thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know. In happy holidays! Thank you for watching Vlogmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.